Magazine. Time now for Futures in Focus. Joining us now is Larry Shover, joining us from the CME, Chief Investment Officer for SFG Alternatives. Larry, what kind of an impact did the, uh, the payroll number have down there? You know, not much. I mean, a lot less than expected. I mean, the bar was raised really high for this number, given the fact we've the 10 year yield has rallied 18 basis points on the week. But there's a lot more at play. And I think right now people are squaring positions, uh, realizing full well that China has been closed for an entire week. And how those, you know, you figure uh, offshore RMB has been north of 690. You have a, a spread between onshore, offshore. It's been its widest point since July. And that's usually a prophecy for a flattening uh, curve. Um, and, and consider the Hang Seng down 4.5% on the week. So people are a little nervous, wondering if this was just an expansion of the range or if yields are, are going where they need to go before the data says they should. It's as simple as that. And I do believe also that um, this is a very uh, good point to get in on a bull flattening trade, especially yep. the 210, given how resilient it's been, uh, given how much yields have risen this past week. Okay, so the flattener's back on. Talk to me a little bit about, so if I sold earlier on this week, am I picking some of that back up again? Is there, is, what's the short-term tactical play here? Yeah, I, I think it just want as a psychological level. Um, again, people think this is expansion of the range. When you consider uh, where the 210 spread was, even in the early September compared to now, given how much rates have gone, the long yield has gone up, it's a good place to reinstate that uh, at this point. And, I, and I'm seeing that right behind me as we speak. Larry, great stuff. Thanks very much indeed. Larry Shover, SFG Alternatives, joining us from the uh, CME.